Everybody's dead in here now. Good job, Linway. You did it. Well, let's hope this isn't too bad. The gate won't open for you. You need to find another way to enter. Oh. Well, uh, that sucks. I was hoping we'd be able to check this thing out. Uh, not gonna be able to do that, though. Do I want to give this a whirl a little bit more? Maybe. I'll go ahead and use all my magic again. Just see if we can get lucky. It'd be nice not to have to come back here just to open a lock level 50 chest. Alteration to 53. The luck's not with me today. Do we have any, like, luck potions or anything? Luck is so important, man. Sometimes I, I wonder if I should be be putting points every time into luck. It's like, it's so crucial in this game. More so than any other game in the series, I think. Um, I don't know about the the former ones, like Arena and Daggerfall, but in Oblivion and stuff, I don't think luck is as important as it is in, in Morrowind. Could be, though. I'm not certain. I'm not, like, an expert on things like that. But it just feels so important in Morrowind. It's insane. Because everything's luck-dependent. At least for us, everything's luck-dependent. I mean, spells... Oh, yeah, I guess with the dagger, you gotta... You roll a dice every time you go to hit somebody. So, yeah. It's all just... It's all just luck-based. Let's grab an hour of sleep, and then we'll get on out of here. And we'll come back to that later. Uh, I guess we'll Elm Civi. Is there another one that we can do that's... That's better? I don't know which one takes you to a temple and which one takes you to an outpost. I think... This one takes you to an outpost, if I'm not mistaken there. So we'll Elm Civi, and if not, then we'll use the other one and go to i uh, I'd rather go to a temple than a, than an outpost. All right, we're, oh, we're in a familiar place. This is Aldruin, I think. Uh, our pawnbroker friend. Yeah, we've been here, and we sold a bunch of stuff to a guy down here. Oop, got my fingers on the wrong keys there. There we go. Oh, man, it feels good to be back familiar territory all that time up in Dagenfell really did a number on my mind what kind of robe do we got on uh, yeah we're gonna keep that one on we need to go store these robes back in our guild hall or in mark in our guild halls down here now the room let's go in. hopefully he's got his money back it's been like a week or two in game I think so he should uh, barter let's just check yeah, 700 and, or 1,750 gold. That's a lot. So, hmm, that makes me want to sell on that Daedric Axe or a mace that we have back at the guild. But I think we'll just get rid of all this shit, right? I don't think we want to keep one of these. Uh, glass is really good, but the downside is uh, the durability is shit. Uh, as you can see, the condition 268 out of 275 compared to a Daedric weapon, which is uh, 1,400 total condition ours is really damaged though um so yeah it makes sense because it's glass you know it's gonna like chip and stuff when you're attacking people okay let's get rid of a couple a couple things on this guy i'm gonna go ahead and use my charm spell on him uh yeah so anyway i don't i don't really want to use glass if i can avoid it just because it's annoying to have to keep repairing it and our Daedric dagger does just fine for for what we need it for get rid of one of those and we'll get rid of all of these daggers Okay, no, we won't. We'll get rid of... That's fine. I'm good with that, man. And he'll take it. Yeah, of course. Oh, shit. You know what? Maybe we should have saved some of that because I think this guy only buys weapons and we could have sold him some ingredients. I wonder if Margan has an alchemist. I don't think it does. I don't remember walking, walking past one in my times here. Uh, repair. Excellent. We will go ahead and repair our dagger. That's going to cost a lot. How the hell do we have so much gold? We have 7,000 gold, guys? What? That's crazy. I don't remember how we got that. Uh, alright. So we'll have enough to buy our, our staff. I thought we were going to have to go on, like, a selling spree in order to, uh, come up with the funds to be able to actually get our staff there. But I guess not. He has 1,905 gold as well. Um... Yeah, he's not going to take any of that. Uh, whoa. What did he take there? Maybe he didn't take anything. I don't think we'll be able to get him for that. I mean, I'll try it for a bit. Oh, he did take it. Wow. All right, boys, we're rich. We're almost at that 10,000 mark. I think at 10,000, we'll be able to uh, purchase a house, actually. Uh, I can't remember where you actually do that. 
I'll have to go explore around and try to f uh, spark my memory on who sells houses in this game. It's in one of the like Imperial outpost areas. I think you can get there from Vivek. I'm not mistaken. What is it called, though? I don't know. I'll figure it out at some point. But we definitely need a house. I don't like storing our stuff. I don't like storing our stuff in uh, the guild hall. Because I'm worried that it's going to despawn. Howdy, friend. Let me charm you up. Drop a quick save. And then we'll travel back to Alderun. Oh, back in the guild. Okay, um... I'm going to make a night eye spell so I don't forget. I wanted to do that in today's episode. So let's make sure that we get that done. I want night eye. I want it to be 100 if we can. We'll have to see how hard this is to cast. There we go. Just 100 to 100. And I want it to be for a long ass time. But look at that. Yeah, our spell chance is going down super fast. So we'll put this at a minute. And we will bring this down to 50 on both. Oh, we need it on self as well. Okay, um, spell chance 66. Point cost is only 30 though, so that's not too that's not too expensive. I wonder if it's just because our mysticism skill is really low. I think mysticism governs night eye. Um, but we'll just go with this for now, and we'll call it Let There Be Light. But I like the caps. There be light. Excellent. And then uh, each time we upgrade this, I'll just make it let there be light. You know, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth. Uh, 450 gold, no big deal for us. We're doing pretty good on money right now. Though we're about to drop 5,000 big ones on a staff. Ooh, let there be light. Let's see how that... Oh, man, it's bright in here now. Yes. Upgrades. Some serious upgrades. I love it. Now, Edwina. What the hell? Did we turn in the Dwemer tube with her? I think we did. Let's uh, have a little chat and talk about our wizard staff. I think we have to click advancement first in order to gain the rank of wizard, wizard staff. So you have a wizard, oh shit, no, I don't want, I don't want that. Let's uh, load the save. I'm going to drop our staff because I want to see if they're any different. If she has a unique staff, then I definitely want it. And so would Linway, so it makes sense to do this. I could sell you a staff by a staff. Okay, very well. I will take your gold. I assume it's all there. And, well, yeah, of course it is. And give you this wizard staff. You are now ready for advancement. Your journal has been updated. 5,000 gold has been removed from your inventory. And a wizard staff has been added to your inventory. Your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. No, it's the same staff. That's so lame. Um, hmm... I'm just going to assume that Linway would ask and be like, yo, is this the same thing <laughs> as the one I've got? Because it doesn't make sense to have two of the exact same staff. I don't like saves coming, but in this case, I think it's fine, to be honest. Yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and grab our advancement. In order, yeah, we got it. So you have a staff. Yes, that one will do. You are now ready for advancement. Congratulations, Linway. You are now a wizard. Awesome. Uh, advancement in the Mage's Guild does not occur by magic. Pay more attention to your duties. Okay. What kind of duties do you have? Yes, I was wondering if you might check up on one of my colleagues in the Dwemer Ruin of Nezalefka. Blah, 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 blah. The last excavation report is long overdue. One of the, my colleagues, Senilius Cadiesis, is engaged in official imperial research in Neku Left. He was supposed to give me an excavation report every month, but has not sent me one this month. Go to Nessa Left and find out what is going on. Okay, will you mark it on my map, madam? You can get there by going around the mountain near Saran and heading northeast along the Foyada Nadanat. Or you can start in Molag Mar and head northwest towards Mount Khan or Kand. Go north around Mount Kand and along the north side of the Foyada. Uh, okay, doesn't seem too bad. And then, yeah, of course, we already gave her the tube. We're not going to talk about anything. Oh, yeah, you hate me, huh? God damn it. This light spell's so good, I love it. Let's talk. Let's talk business. <laughs> I want to get rid of some stuff if I can. Let's see. We buy that? No, you won't. Alright, shit. Looks like we're not getting rid of anything on her. 
What's up your intervention? Nah. Whoa. Sound. 100 points on self. Burden. 100 points on self. Fortify speed. 15 points on self. That's weird. What is that called? Oh. It's a nightmare ring. Makes sense. Oh, a hearthstone. Insert hearthstone music. <laughs> I love that music. I think it's copyrighted. I'm not going to put it in. Uh, maybe we should try some enchanting. We have some some soul gems. What do we want to do, though? Maybe we could do a nice little levitate. A levitate uh, ring or robe or something. I want it to be big, though. I'm talking like... I'm talking like real big. Like a hundred points. For like a minute. <laughs> if we can. Uh, let's see. I don't know how good our soul gems are this is probably not gonna work but i'm just gonna try it out uh there charge 100 cast cost okay so that's not gonna work maybe we'll bring it down to 50 see if we can do 50 for 60 seconds 60 seconds might even be overkill you know generally speaking you don't need it for that long you only need it for like maybe maybe 30 seconds uh, so we'll try that. We'll try 30 seconds. The cast charge or cast cost is 53. Um, and we only have, oh man, I'm, I'm confused about this. I'm gonna have to look up some guides on how to do enchanting. I don't want to mess up and, and just lose out on good soul gems or anything like that. But we need to up that skill for sure. It's one of our main skills uh, and I have no idea how to use it. There's a really good guides out there though. So I'll watch a couple of those and then I should be should be able to manage after that. Okay, did you put that on my map? Is that it? Nikoleft? I think that is it, you know? Uh yeah, that is. Okay. Well that's easy enough because we can literally just walk to it without any hassle. We don't have to like follow specific directions. Let's go ahead and put away some of our stuff and make sure our... Yep, that's all still in there. We'll put away all of our robes. I'm going to drop a quick save just in case if I get a random crash here. While I'm messing with these robes. We don't want any duplicates, really. If we have any, then I'll... Oh, I'll take them and sell them. What are we wearing now? Okay. Uh, and this one is... Yeah, that one's different. Uh, and we'll put our staff in here. We're going to keep it just because... I don't think we'll ever really use that, but it's kind of a unique item, I guess. We need it to maintain our um, rank of wizard. That's what I'm going to assume, anyway. Uh, we need to go find an alchemist. Oh, we can put away our books, too. Go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, we read The House of Troubles, right? Yeah, we did. I'm going to put that one on our bed, then, just so I know that I've read it. I swear I've read this in Skyrim, that same book. Pilgrim's Path, of course we've read. Oh, that's a nice book, actually. I like that. Got all this weird corpse stuff. And I think we're good now. Is there anything else that we want to put away? I mean, we're not using these right now, so we might as well put them away. I'll hold on to that one, because we might be able to fill it up with something good. And then all the ones that are already filled, we will put in here, and we'll use them at a later date. You use them to recharge your items as well. Uh, so do we want to keep like one or two on us? Nah, we'll just um, we'll just rely on the ones that we have. We'll fill them up and then and then use them if we need to. And then we'll try to use these to enchant random items uh, for training purposes later on. All right, all that's good. I'm gonna drop an actual save real quick. Okay, there we go. Um, I think we're gonna head back to Balmora now and continue on with the main quest finally. We're gonna have to do a bunch of reading though. Uh, there's a few books that we need to read before we can move along with the main quest. Um, I set them down on Caius's bed. We'll go take a look at those real quick. If I could, oh no, we have to, oh my gosh. I almost forgot. I need to go make a better lock spell and then go open that chest uh, back at that, that place that we were just at. So we'll quickly do that. And then after that, we'll head to Belmore. Yes, honored guest. Okay, uh, so how do we want to do this? I think we're just going to do a lock level 75 on touch is fine, right? Whoa. 
Our chance to cast it is better on target, but it costs a little bit more. So we'll just go ahead and get this up to 75, and then we'll do 100 after that. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll just make both right now. We should have the funds for it. So we'll just call this Open 75. There we go, Open 75, and we'll buy that, and then we'll make another one called Open 100. Touch. Okay, there we go. Open 100. May end up deleting the 75 one once we have a better chance to cast our level 100 one, but I think it's gonna be pretty shit at first. Let's take a peek here. 66% uh, chance. I mean, that's not too bad. Eh, oh well, we already made both, so we're gonna have both. And plus we're not hurting for money, so I'm not too concerned about it anyway. I forgot to check this. Anything in there? Yeah, there is. Wow. <laughs> the Mage's Guild is really paying off with those chests. I mean, they don't pay you much in the way of coin, but you get all the potions you want, pretty much. What am I doing? Why'd I come back out here and just recall back? And then we'll Alm Sivy back to Morgan. Was it Morgan that we were at before? Yeah, it was. Okay. Oh, chest. You thought you... You thought you bested me, but you were wrong. I came back prepared, boy. Oh, we have another chest that we need to unlock in that, uh... Jade Daedric placed by Alvalathi. We'll do that. Okay, there, finally. Jesus. Oh, and <laughs> for our efforts, we get 119 gold. Whatever. At least we have the spell now. Uh, so whenever we run into chests like that in the future, we won't have to worry about opening them or not. All right, now, where was that place? It was to the east of Alvalathi. It's this place right here. So let's go to Alvalathi and go open that level 60 chest in that Daedric Ruin. Will you take me to Alvalathi? No, you won't. Huh. How the hell did we get up to Alvalathi? How did we get up there before? Oh, we walked from Nisus, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So we'll go to Nisus. And then go from Nisus to Alvalathi, maybe? Oh, no, that's not going to be an option, is it? What? Oh, here he is. Yeah, I think we have to walk again. Oh, that's a bummer. No worry, though. I don't care. What do we want to train on our walk up here? Uh, let's see. Conjuration could, could use some level ups. That's for sure. Mysticism is only 22. Wow, we're a noob in mysticism. Let's train that up. Try to get that to like 30, something a little bit respectable. You call yourself a wizard, Linway? You only get like 20, you only get like 20 mysticism? Come on, dude. What's up there? What is up there? I'm gonna head up there. Take a little peek. See what we got going on. Might just be a path, you know. Oh no, it's a, it's an egg mine, I think. Must be, right? That's the, uh, yeah, it has to be. Oh, no! This could be an ebony mine. Oh, no, it's an egg mine. Dang it. Sometimes those are uh, ebony mines, and you can go in there and make a shit ton of gold by looting a bunch of ebony. Nice little area here, look. Let's go in this hole. Oh, it's not actually a hole. Is there any treasures behind the waterfall? Nope, nothing. Cool guy Linway <laughs> levitating over to Ald Velothi. And for an old game, it sure is beautiful, huh? I mean, look at that. Can't complain about that at all. So cool. When did Linway turn into such a badass? Look at him. What's that back there? Oh, I thought it was a silt strider. It's just a big rock. Oh, thought I was falling for a sec. What's that look like? Sidestepping while you're... How did I do that? There we go. Look at that. What the hell? <laughs> Just sidestepping all the way there. That's so funny. Alright. Let's quit messing around. Oh! Oh, that was close. <laughs> I'm gonna quick save now. Did I ever move the mark spell? I don't think I did. Should have put it back at Alvalathi, so I could fast travel to Balmora. 
I'm gonna have to use um, Sylvie intervention now. I'm getting stuck on a tree. Whoa. Is there a guy right there? Oh no. Hm. I didn't even know you could get all the way up here. Cool little place to hang out. Have a little bottle of wine. Enjoy the view. The wolves are howling tonight. Uh, the only problem with coming back here is that most of the stuff's going to be respawned, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, I also want to check to make sure that that rat despawned back here. I killed a rat for science. <laughs> that way I could check later on to see if he uh, was being disposed of automatically. I'm going to keep an eye out for him. I'm sure this is where he was. Look right around here. I can also survey the area. See if anybody came back to the Dwemer ruin. Hm. Yeah, I'm not seeing him. So, that means that something is disposing of the corpses. Because I don't think it does that in a normal game. In the base game, I should say. I don't think it disposes of corpses for you. I think if you don't do it, they stay there forever. Uh, but that's good. That means I don't have to be disposing literally every single corpse. Which is so annoying. Ow, my legs. Luckily we didn't die there. Okay. Let's go into this place. Go get our chest. If there are a bunch of enemies, I'm just going to go invisible. And, uh, bypass them. Not interested in doing any more fighting today, I don't think. Yeah, look at this guy. What an annoying dude. Uh, where's my invisibility? It's amazing that he can't see me, like, right now. What are you doing? Hm. Just chilling out, guarding the area. He's a horrible guard, though, because we just went invisible right in front of him. Didn't even notice. Those Dremora with a bow and arrow are so difficult to kill. It's crazy. Like, we've been fortunate that the ones that we've been fighting lately have been um, melee-based. But if they get a bow and arrow in their hands... Better watch out. Got a clan fear. Not too worried about it. Our levitate's gonna run out. Where? How the hell do you get in here? Okay, there goes the levitate. Oh, here it is. Right here to the left. Excellent. Let's get inside. See if things are back, back in here. The bodies are gone. I don't remember disposing the bodies. What's this? Oh, I thought that was a chest for a sec. Man, what an unfortunate uh, ending to that quest. Poor Malexia ended up dying at the hands of a couple of Ashlanders. But, eh, it is what it is. From the looks of it, nothing's respawned. So that's good. Our chest is just up here to the right. Is anything alive? I don't think so. Oh, we haven't been using jump. Such a fun spell, though. Oh, that was, uh, dangerous. I'm pretty sure it was just right up here. Let's see. Is that it? What? That doesn't look familiar. Oh, it must be. Was it really that? Huh. I thought it looked, uh... I thought it was like a normal box. Not a long chest like this. Anyway, open 75. And what do we got? Was it worth it? I mean, not really. Cor Another corpse preparation? Jesus, guys. Get some different literature. Shit sucks. Uh, Invocation of Azura. Sure, why not? Add it to the old collection back at the guild. And the rest of it can stay in there. I'm going to just double check to make sure that that is the, uh, the actual chest. I'm going to look around at these other things, but I'm going to cut that out if there's nothing. Okay, I looked all over in that Daedric Ruin and couldn't find any more chests. Uh, so I just left. Now we're going to head back to Balmora. Uh, where we're going to go ahead and continue on with the main quest. Actually, let's stop and say to Neen. We're going to go to the uh, trade house. Sell a couple of uh, alchemical ingredients. And visit our old high elven friend from the beginning of the game. It's been a long... Oh, should we go pick up those robes? Yeah, might as well. I think we already have a pair of them. Uh, but we can see the guy fall out of the sky. And he's got a little journal that's a unique book. So might as well grab that. What's up with this? Gorva Tower Note. 
This area is off limits until further notice. Okay. Now, he should be falling out of the sky right around here. You can actually see him uh, just standing up in the air. I think. Unless he's already fallen and I missed it. I'll keep my eyes on the sky. Did he fall? I think it's like right around here. Where is he? Fall out of the sky, damn it. Where are you? Oh, there he is, there he is. Check that out. Just standing there for a second. And then he comes falling down. Drops his journal. Journal of that guy. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I will be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all of the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner, vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without that terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. The time is almost upon me. My research is finished, and all of my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream out my success. Oof. That's a big oof right there. Tariel. Sorry, buddy, but it didn't work out for you. We get three scrolls of Eclarian Flight. Where the hell did those go? Right there. Valued at 125 each. Fortify Acrobatics, 1,000 points. For seven seconds on self. We also get some robes. He's got some cool underwear on there. And one of the most ridiculous hats in the game. Look at that. It's like a banana. It's like the top of a banana. Anyway, we'll give him back his hat. Not interested in that. Colovian fur, huh? Armor rating zero. Uh, we won't take... Oh, extravagant shoes as well. Wow, that would have been really useful in the beginning of the game. And also his robe is... Probably, yeah, it's extravagant. Oh, look! It's the same robe we have on right now. <laughs> How funny. Anyway, let's go to the trade house and sell some stuff. It feels so good to be back in this area. Just like, I feel so safe here now. I remember feeling so afraid the first night when we traveled to Balmora. And now I'm walking around just not a care in the world, dude. Rats, come on. Bring it on. I can handle you right now one shot. Just like that. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, 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 man, okay. All right, you got me, Satanine. You got me. I'll make sure not to feel too comfortable around here. I wonder if we can go talk to the Census and Nexus office guy again. Just to say hello. I don't think he'll have any fresh dialogue, but I'm gonna check. I haven't played too much Morrowind personally, so there's like all these little things that I've always wondered that I've never been able to do. Um, so I'm going to use this Let's Play to uh, to scratch all those itches that I have to, to just see what this game holds. Hey, what's up, friend? I remember you. I expect you have settled that business with Kai's Cassades by now. So what was this all about? Report to Kai's... Really, dude? Okay, well, that's all he's got to say about that. That actually makes me think that this guy might have some new stuff to say friend it's been a long time it's Do good to see you something for your service to the empire you're always welcome linway how may i be of service to you training oh you train in sneak huh well as it so happens we actually need some sneak training so i'll charm him up and oh the, the shitty thing about this is that when you train in this game time passes so i'll have to charm him each and every time uh, I don't think I will though. I think I'll just do it the once. Faction owned. Rank Knight Protector. Yeah, I'll just turn them once and then we'll. Oh, Illusion to 39. Would you look at that? Uh oh. Through watching your skills, hopefully we don't crash. Uh, our companion has gained some stuff and we'll get sneak up a few times. Maybe 15. Maybe even 20. You know, we've got some gold to throw around here and we need it up to. What level do we need it for the blades? Let's take a peek. Uh, need one skill at 40 and two skills at 20. We have speechcraft, right? Is that one of our main skills? No, it's not. Um, so we'll have to do speechcraft, sneak, restoration, and long blade. Restoration will be the one that we get to 40, and then we will get sneak and speechcraft to 20. I think that's how we're going to do it, yeah. 
So what is our restoration now? It is 29. So we need 11 levels in restoration. And then we'll go ahead and grab 20 sneak from this guy right now. Do you need something? And we'll work on our persuasion at some point. Or our speechcraft. We'll work on that soon. I'm not sure if we'll train it up like this or if we'll actually try to persuade people. Okay, this is getting costly now. Alright, one more level. And now we only have 4,755 gold. But we have one of our requirements for the next rank in the blades. Which is good. Hey, what's up, a real? Let me see what kind of spells you got. It's going to be junk. Jack of trades. Fortify luck 15 points on self. Mm -mm. I'm going to take that, I think, you know. Just because uh, it might be useful later on. And he's got all the weakness spells. Do we want this? It gives us the ability. Oh, no, you can't fortify stuff like that. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it for now. We know it's here. Barter. Let me get rid of a bunch of stuff. You only have 800 gold, though, so we can't get rid of too much. Okay, get rid of our drow wax. We don't actually need that rope because we got it already. So we'll get rid of that. We already have that and that. Uh, what else? Danger hearts. Our pearls. Uh, this? Yeah, for sure that. Uh, that's, that's over. Okay, we'll take back our hearts. And we'll take back our pearls. And we will max the disposition. Work on our mercantile a bit. And that's all. I think we can leave here now. Thank you, Ariel. It's good to see you. And that's just a random lady. Is there anybody up here who trades? I don't think there is. I think you train, but you don't trade. No, you don't. Oh, you train. Okay, I got it. Block, yeah. None of that is kind of stuff we want recover some gold no i don't i don't want to recover gold for you and you are ugly as hell what are you doing there yes Re so you about to pull the blade on us you do some training and nothing that we need either the foyada i think this is the uh foyadas are like those big uh ravines that you walk through in Morrowind, I think. Foyada means fire river, yeah. In the native Ashlander language, the deep ash dark ravines which run down the Red Mountain Volcano are called Foyada. So whenever people are referring to anything with Foyada in it, that's what they're talking about. They're just canals that you can travel through in Morrowind, and, and they're used for directions a lot in this game. The lava from Red Mountain is very fluid, and it runs almost like water. During an eruption, fire rivers run down the mountain, clearing the ravines of vegetation because they have good footing are right, because they have good footing are clear of brush and run along or run long distances we use them like roads when traveling over land yep and that's a locked door okay enough messing around let's head back to balmora now finally what's this lives of the saints probably a good book back in caius's house finally we are going to continue on with the main quest but we're going to do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.